for comments by the Portland Association of Principals and School Administration Administrators, also known as PAPSA. Um, Peyton Chapman, president of PAPSA, has requested a few minutes on our agenda this evening. Peyton, thank you for coming down to our um, speakers table. And I see a lot of administrators in the um, principals in the audience. If you're a principal or administrator in one of our buildings, could you please stand up? Just so we have a sense. <laughs> thank you, and while you're standing up, I'm gonna thank you for what seems to be a very smooth and um, effective start to school. So thank you, I know that being here tonight on what is the second Monday of the beginning of school is tough to be here, but thank you. I'd also like to say it's nice PAPSA has not uh, spoken before. Director Buell and, and Director Kohler, so welcome. And it's always, I always feel so proud as a principal that we have a student on our school board and we're modeling civic involvement and it's nice to see you, Director Davidson. Good evening, Superintendent Smith and members of the board. My name is Peyton Chapman and I currently serve as the president of the Portland Association of Public School Administrators, also known as PAPSA. PAPSA represents administrators kindergarten through 12th grade, as well as principals who are serving in alternative schools and those on special assignment. PAPSA board and PAPSA membership are here tonight to show our support for our colleague principals who have been working hard to help negotiate a contract that supports students, student achievement, teachers, and high quality instruction. We understand the hard work that teachers do every day in their classrooms, as we too were all once teachers. We also understand the needs of students and families who ask us for their help every day. We are here tonight to clearly communicate that when the principals on the bargaining team speak, they speak not just from their own perspectives, but from our collective perspectives with our many years of service and experience as both teachers and administrators. Principals and vice principals want to honor teachers' skills, needs, and talents. The current contract has too many barriers that make it difficult and sometimes impossible to hire and retain teachers with the right training and experience. This hurts teachers and it hurts our students. Principals know that a more streamlined hiring process with just one hiring round would help us keep the talented teachers in whom we have invested time and resources. A more streamlined process would help us complete hiring earlier in the spring so that teachers would know where they will be teaching before the school year ends and have more time to think about their classes before school starts. This change would benefit, benefit teachers and students. When our principals have spoken on these kinds of issues, they have spoken for all of us who serve teachers and students in our schools. Principals know that our teachers need time to prep during the school day, but we also know that students and families need to be able to meet with their teachers during the regular school day. We know that parents must be our first partners and that families are crucial allies who can help teachers resolve academic issues, help teachers better understand a student's, student's learning needs, and sometimes even share important information about what's going on at home. Counselors and administrators need to be able to schedule short meetings with teachers and families to review IEPs and 504 plans during or just after school. Currently, this is not possible. When our principals speak on these kinds of issues, they speak for all of us who have served as instructional leaders in our schools as we are in service to our teachers and our students. We want to acknowledge and thank Charlene Williams, Ben Kiefer, and Marty Diaz for their leadership representing the needs of our students, our families, and our teachers in Portland Public Schools. Thank you, Superintendent Smith and members of the board, as well as PAT leadership, for all of your hard work on this contract. We all as PAPSA members hope that Portland Public Schools and PAT will be able to reach a negotiated agreement that allows us to better serve our teachers and our students and our families. Thank you, the PAPSA board.